to our vlog! Yay! <laughs> this vlog is sponsored by Nature Valley. <laughs> LOL JK. So my husband has a day off and we are going to actually work and take photos of a house for our friend from church who is a realtor. And it's such a nice day out. So Elijah and I tagged along. And then I don't know what else is gonna happen today, but I just figured, let's vlog. We might see some people in like horse and buggies. You know that, babe? In Bridgewater? You, like you see the horse and buggies. So we got the Mennonites. It smells like straight up horse doo doo. I thought since I'm wearing a hat, I don't have to wear glasses. destination for my husband to take photos of this house it's a beautiful house it's a beautiful day and Elijah is finally getting his food so I'm just gonna be super vulnerable and honest here Elijah was I noticed he was spitting up more than usual now okay let me explain myself so Elijah is a breastfed baby i mostly nurse i started introducing bottles at two months so bottles of breast milk and i was nursing him more than giving him bottle and everything was fine and then like for two weeks straight he was spitting up more than usual and i was like something's not right like okay he spits up a lot but this is not normal like it seems like he legit spit out a whole bottle of like four or six ounces so i went and i took him to the pediatrician to check out what's going on and see what i should do it turns out that elijah actually lost some weight when i found out that he had lost weight myself and the pediatrician were very concerned and she said she would like him to get an ultrasound done to see if he has pylorus something. I'm pretty sure like if you're a doctor or a nurse or something or an ultrasound technician and you're watching this, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but basically his little tummy valve, his stomach valve could have been too thick to not like accept food. Which was weird because up until now he always ate fine. Regular poopy diapers, regular wet diapers. So I took him an hour away to, apparently it's like the best hospital around here. Um, I took him to UVA and we got all this done. Just imagine a little three month old baby getting an IV put in, going for an ultrasound. Like he was, he was such a trooper. He handled it so well. So anyways, we went there, we got all these tests done. He does not have the pylorus, whatever it's called, and his levels were all good. Um, all I had to do really was add rice cereal to his bottles. Right? Yeah, and you said that makes me happy. He's immediately keeping it down, he's not spitting up, and then if he does spit up, it's nothing near what he was doing before. So we went to the pediatrician the day after his ultrasound and everything, uh -huh. and he, with you know the rice cereal and his milk, he had gained four ounces immediately. So I was like, okay, this is the answer, I'm so happy, praise God, no surgery, nothing like that, he's not spitting up as much. This was good, so 
yeah it was definitely a worrisome time any moms out there going through the same thing basically it's just reflux issues like babies often have reflux issues um my pediatrician actually said we don't have to do xantex since he gained four ounces and he's taking the bottle so easily and just keep doing what you're doing and we'll weigh him in two weeks and Like I said, it was a really stressful week. All the housework and everything I had to do. And then on top of that, got my dog groomed. He came home with, I don't know, we just noticed that he had two fleas on him. Had to immediately take care of that, get him the Seresto collar because my dog has like an allergic reaction to the flea ointment that you put on him. He starts to get muscle spasms and stuff. The chemicals are way too strong. So basically what we do is just like naturally treat him with essential oils and stuff. Um, when it's flea season, that's when we really, like we do something like this where we will put the ointment on him or um, give him the Capstar pill or something like that. The fleas just came before we took action and then I had to go out and get him a Seresto collar. I had to clean everything, take care of my rugs, my home, our clothes. Um, I'm not fogging or like fog bombing our home because it's not an infestation and I'm just I don't care I'm not doing that with a child in my home I just don't want those chemicals I use like all natural products it's not Adams what is it called I'll like put the link below if you have any flea issues I love this brand they have like a spray for your furniture they have the powder for your carpet and it's all basically essential oils it's just like really strong i mean i don't know about you guys but i'm aware that like bugs don't like certain oils i haven't seen anything on him or my cat my cat gets the ointment so she's fine let me just tell you all of this happened this week like i just felt attacked in so many ways i was delirious delusional oh my gosh mom brain to the max wow this is really pretty right now Yeah, just felt like straight up attacked by the enemy you know my weaknesses are basically like I like to be in control of things my dog got fleas before and I had anxiety attacks like it was so bad so this time I completely treated it a different way I said not today Satan it's not happening you're not taking my peace you're not taking my joy you're not taking my identity. You're not going to tell me that I'm a bad mom. You're not going to tell me that I'm not doing things right. You're not going to tell me that I need to freak out. You're not going to tell me that God's not good. You're not going to tell me that God isn't faithful because he is and he prevails every time. So what I do in those times is just I make sure I go to church. I make sure I praise and worship. I make sure I have worship music on in my home I make sure that I am like reading the Bible out loud so that I can just use that as armor against the enemy in those times so I just had to be like Jesus I need you I need you to intervene I need you to take care of me because I'm not doing a good job taking care of myself right now because I'm so stressed please Lord I need you so I went to church yesterday I didn't go to service because I was leading the youth with my husband and just going to that, just seeing those kids, just being with them, just brightened my spirit, my soul, just learning with them. Oh, I felt so good. Shout out to my youth students. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Hammock break. People are that nice out here in Virginia that I'm strolling down the street with my son you know as my husband's taking photos of these of this house one of the neighbors comes out and is like please 
feel free to use this hammock like you know while he's doing that just enjoy relax and I'm just like don't mind if I do God is telling me to rest and relax and enjoy and leaves are falling on me right now this is so serene hmm That was staged for my life, but I don't need the color light. Something simple, all white with my son and my wife. Looking at this view like, damn, that's nice. Something simple. Where I can look into your eyes and be gentle. Because the truth is in our lives. We still out here. <laughs> I still have the same outfit. I had to change. But I was really gross. So, oh. Don't that? don't vlog and push your stroller. <laughs> but we are downtown, historic downtown Harrisonburg, Virginia. It's a really cute area. We've got like art. Can you help push the carriage like one hand? This is not working. <laughs> and we have the dog. Where's Milo? Milo. Next to us. Hair blowing in the wind. Anyways, historic downtown. There are lots of shops, little art exhibits places to eat outdoors and we are gonna go to a place heritage bakery which is a place that I've been dying to go to they have homemade pastries and macaroons Dad alert. It's hot outside. You know how they say MILF? Filth. Father? Why not DILF? Like Dad. Dilf. Filth? That's so messed up. Filth. The filthy animal. <laughs> Hi, Milo. Hi. So Heritage Bakery did not have the macaroons that I came for, but they said that they will make me the flavor and color that I want tomorrow morning. So we're going to come back tomorrow so that I can get my special rose flavored turquoise colored macaroons. I'm going to have to come. Like I can't. Yeah. I can't have her make special macaroons and then like I don't show up. Yeah, yo, look at that creepy squirrel over there. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Where? Oh. <laughs> creepy squirrel. It's like so delicious. It has everything. It's the best salad of my life. It's the best salad of my life. Wait. It's the best salad of my life. This is the best salad of my life. Are those yummy fingers? Those are so yummy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so interesting how us humans find those noises funny. The fart noise from a baby. Like, it's just funny. Like, why is it so funny to us? 
The longer the sound, the funny it is. Oh, that was a wet one. He's excited. I can't say it that fast. Daddy's more the Dominican than me. My grandma told me if you want him to know how to dance, do that. Like, make songs, have a rhythm, and, and make him, you know, make him bounce. Woo! Oh my son. We're gonna get you this. How much for these right now? What do you think about these, babe? You can just get one of them. Patches for his denim. The Boy Scout patches. That's cute. I like this one. You know what they mean? No, let me see what they are. Hey. Hey guys, good morning. You may not know it's morning, but it's the next day. I decided to continue to vlog, especially since the ladies at Heritage Bakery said they were making me special rose macaroons. I can't wait to go try them and check it out. And just like, oh, I haven't had a macaroon in so long. They're like one of my favorite treats. My husband doesn't really like them, but I'm going to make him eat one. And we're actually going to the vet. We have to get our pets vaccinated. Um, and we're trying out a new vet today, so we got to be there like 20 minutes early. Um, and in the meantime, I am pumping right now as I speak, which I wear the hackas or the haakas. I call them the hackas, um, but they're silicone um, manual breast pumps. Then they just you just suction them on to yourself. And I'm not filming this. But if I feel a letdown coming, <laughs> my husband looked at me like, what are you doing? I will just, I will put them on and immediately, like, it'll just, I'm telling you, I can get like four ounces in one shot out of this. I am finishing my cycle right now, and I'm going to talk about that later. And I'm understanding why my son is not liking my milk. Good King is resurrecting me. Bless you. Bless. Bless you. The resurrected king is resurrecting me. Hey guys, we are back at the bakery to get some macaroons. Bills are them right there. <laughs> oh, 
colored and they're gorgeous. They have gold sprinkles. And Elijah has a lot to say about them too. I already took a bite, but just just for show. <laughs> Like, who would have thought I like the flavor of rose? I'm a delicacy. <laughs> Thank you to Heritage Bakery for taking my opinion and making macaroons just for me, named rose, flavored rose, and my favorite colors. Like, thank you. We love it. It was you were echoing. Tell me how you really feel. acceptable to end a vlog in my robe I'm gonna do it though all right guys so that is the end of my vlog I've been loving the schedule that we have my husband is off three days and then works for four days straight so those three days we really just take time to like adventure explore make decisions have discussions worship and praise God and just relish in the goodness that's here for us. We don't always go out every single day and do all these things. We just happen to be able to. So I just am so thankful for the time I have with him. But I'm also so thankful for the time that I have on my own with Elijah, of course. But, you know, just time to get back into my routine. Take care of the housework. Take care of our finances. Take care of organizing our business and just moving forward i'm just taking advantage of this time and i wanted to um before i close this touch on what i talked about in the beginning of this vlog which was my son and his reflux issues now like i said i am a breastfeeding mom so my my son nurses and then i introduce bottles at two months he was always doing well he was gaining weight he was eating he always spit up and I was just used to it I guess he's just like a happy spitter but he was fine then two weeks ago I started to get some symptoms that my cycle was starting again so I was PMSing and that's when he started to really start spitting everything up and he had lost weight so I, we just thought okay it's just reflux issues and we need to put rice cereal in his milk and we need to do all these we need to do an ultrasound we need to do blood work all this stuff and i started to do some research on my own because this wasn't brought up by the pediatrician or anybody so i was like does he not like my milk right now like is there something wrong with it and i found out that like obviously your levels your hormone levels are different the levels of progesterone are different right now and that your milk can taste saltier than sweet there's more sodium and potassium i think in the milk and less glucose levels so like it's it's it just doesn't even taste that good so he just wasn't enjoying it i, I that's what i'm taking to it because now my cycle is ending and he's drinking and he's not spitting up as much he's feeling heavier than he did in the past two weeks he's looking heavier so 
I really, really think, and I want to let you know, because this can happen to you if you're a breastfeeding mom and for some reason get your period like me. You're not supposed to get your period while you're breastfeeding, but I don't know. God has other plans for me. I just wanted to share that with you. It's so... This whole parenting thing is just, you think, oh, like the doctor told me everything or I read all these books or I nannied before and I know all this information. But when you get here, everything is trial and error. And that's why they say the first child is the guinea pig. Like you just try everything out with them. But now I'm aware of that and just I know for the next time that I get my cycle. Anyways, I'm going to pray and end this vlog before this camera dies. So, Lord Heavenly Father, thank you for the past few days that I've been able to spend with my family. God, I just thank you so much for family, for love, for having my husband and my son to just enjoy your goodness with God. And I'm so blessed just to be where I am. Um, I'm so thankful I'm able to share my experiences with the world and share the gospel with the world as well. Um, and just my heart for you, Lord, and I pray to encourage someone else to open their heart to you, Father. Um, I just pray for everybody watching this video right now, whether they are believers or non-believers, just pray. I pray over their lives, their finances, their health, their family situations, any circumstance they're in, Lord, get them through it. Lord, I pray that you reveal yourself to them so that they can know that you are fighting for them behind the scenes, no matter what, God, and I just... Oh, you're so good. And I pray all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Guys, thank you again for watching. I'm so happy to continue to share my experiences with you. And I pray over you. Be blessed. See you next time. Oh, good job. Keep that in. So, I walked through a spider web. Sure. If we can do that. Just let me know which direction you're going. Let's cross the street. Okay. Can we cross the street? Yeah, oh, God. Can, but it's a... So then we can't. That's why I'm asking if we cross the street. <laughs> Stain on my shirt, mom life. Look at the ant. Making my way downtown. Walking fast. actually paying me to be on my phone and film right now.